Hey everybody, it's Teresa here and welcome back to our Kids Albums Project. Today I'm hopping into Emberlyn's album and doing a layout from Halloween in 2013. Gosh, it seems like forever ago, but I got the Pebbles Spooky collection in the other day and I wanted to play with it. And I'm also using some of the products from Crepe Paper, um, uh, what was that? What was that called? Hey Pumpkin collection that was from last year. And there were just some really cute elements in both of these that I felt um, worked really well together. And so Emberlyn that year dressed up as a spooky black cat. She was so cute and there were some, um, some little like um, a little black cat girl icon in the Hey Pumpkin collection. And so that sort of was my starting point. And then I had all these tags on the cut apart sheets from both collections. And so I decided to go ahead and use those up. And I love a good use it up layout where you just you throw everything you have of one kind of thing, th throw it all on one page and um, get those out of your stash and onto a page. And so I'm going to just do a really simple cascading style of page where all the tags are going to just cascade down the page and you'll get to, to see the little elements underneath each other poking out and so that that kind of layout has been done a lot um if you look on instagram you'll you'll find some other um designers that have done this kind of layout it's too many to really be able to credit i don't know where this trend um, came from but it's one of those kinds of layouts that is so repeatable and reusable and recyclable over and over and over again. And so you can see on my page, I am just um, cutting out all those tags and trimming off the little, the little corners. Note to self, do that over the trash can because I still have some of those little corners hanging out on my desk. Um, I haven't like cleaned my desk all the way off from doing this page yet so I know they're they're lurking in the they're lurking off camera and waiting for me so once I have everything cut out then I'm going to just lay it all out on the 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 base pattern paper and I chose this cute little black and white polka dot um, I thought that the orange tags and the white and cream tags would stand out really cute next to that black and white background and it just sort of suits her her vibrant personality at that time and just how excited um, they all were I gosh I miss those Halloweens I think that um, I talk about this every year I talk about how much fun the Halloweens were when they dressed up and how that that era is coming to an end. I think that um, there won't be a trick or treating for us this year. I think that everybody's pretty much done with it, and um, so <laughs> all the more reason to scrapbook these pages and to document these wonderful memories. And so I printed out two photos from this night two four by sixes, but I really figured out that I just needed one photo and just wanted to do one photo of her in her costume. And so I used the largest, the largest tag I had, I used that as a, a, a trimming template and uh, that hopefully will help to what, what I really needed to make sure was that the photo stood out as being here, here's where, here's where you want to look on this page because you can tell that all of the tags and all the elements are a bit busy and that's fun, right? There's so much to see and take in 
on this page, but the way that you treat the photo is what will make it the focal point. And so one of the ways is to make it one of the largest elements on the page. I also am placing it at the bottom uh, left hand corner. So I'm using the rule of thirds here to put that at that lower left intersection. Um, and then right and she's sort of looking up into the layout. So I'm using sort of those design principles as well. And then I left space around her to do the journaling and the title. And so once I get everything adhered down, then you'll see how I'm going to add that title and make that photo really the focal point that it is. So, but first I'm going to glue everything down. When I glue these down, I just put the adhesive at the top of the tag so that you can tuck things underneath and um, make sure that you have the ability to create the layers underneath. <laughs> um, I hope that makes sense. And then once I have them adhered down, I'm also just sort of curling the ends a little bit. This helps them stand out and you get to see a little bit more of what's underneath each one and adds that little textural feel to the page so that everything is not quite so flat. And once I have everything adhered and everything is curled up on the end, then I get to add some of the fun chipboard pieces, the puffy stickers, and just some of the little, the little fun embellishments that add just another little bit of fun. And um, the Hey Pumpkin collection had silver glitter embellishments. And so I'm going to use those to add a little tiny bit of sparkle as well because every layout needs a little bit of glitter. And so here you can see where I am adhering the photo. And I'm sort of paying closer attention to how the tags are arranged around it. Um, I sort of rearranged a few things just a little bit there to make sure that that she was really visible there. And then I'm gonna use this boo for this boo uh, chipboard piece for the title. And that brings a pop of orange to the bottom of the page. And then your eye knows exactly what we're looking for. Everything else is a supporting actor, but the photo and the title and the journaling are the main players. And so I'm going to create my own little journaling tag here. I'm just using the back of a piece that I felt like I probably wouldn't use. I really was being lazy because I didn't feel like cutting my own piece of cardstock. <laughs> so, but that's okay. And then I have this little wooden grid stamp from Hero Arts. And I did a little, a light uh, press from the ink pad on that and then it kind of looks a little bit like black webbing so that worked out kind of cool and then I'm just going to tuck that in with the other tags and um, write a little bit of journaling about that day and what her costume was and then once I have the journaling I'm going to put the date on this little tag over here that tag to me that little stripe tag is um, it's a nice bit of relief from all the black and orange. And then the black date stamp brings that back into the layout and sort of tones it down so it doesn't look like a sore thumb, sort of. But now it blends in. And then, of course, using that 31 with the glitter on it is great. And so I had so much fun. Um, just adding these little embellishments and I have to apologize there were there were some weird things going on when I videoed this layout and um, so the, the video did cut out on me and I'm sorry about that it didn't take all of the um, embellishments it didn't record all of the embellishments that I added 
but hopefully you'll get a good idea and of course you can always see the finished layout on my blog and you get to see close-ups there as well thanks so much for joining me um, the blog by the way is larkindesigntm.com i will see you back here again soon bye bye